everyone! So today I'm going to be doing a super exciting video. I'm going to be doing an affordable makeup haul and I'm really excited. I've got tons and tons of palettes. So this is all going to be from Shop Hush and if you haven't heard of it, it's this really, really cool brand and app where they have tons and tons of dupes. They've got makeup brushes, Korean skincare, and then they've also got all these affordable, really nice palettes as well. So I'm going to be showing you guys all of the palettes that I got from there. Again, really, really affordable. So most of these palettes range. I just wanted to like double check it to make sure I was saying the right thing. Most of these palettes are $12. There's a few that are like bundles of two that are $24 and then there's one that's only like $10. So all of this only cost $102. All of these palettes I'm going to show you and I got like a ton of them. So the first one is the um, Inferno palette. It looks like this. And I do have to say all this came like packaged so nice. Like first of all, this is probably the cutest box I've ever gotten anything in ever. It's literally the cutest box ever. And then it came with like just tons and tons of bubble wrapped and it was very, it was packaged very, very nicely, especially like considering that it is like a really affordable brand. Um, I was like very, very impressed with all of the packaging. First off is this Inferno palette and this one just came by itself. It was about $12 and it looks like this. It's really pretty. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the modern renaissance palette um, it's not exactly the same like I don't think this is like the actual modern renaissance dupe but it does kind of remind me of that it's really really pretty it, almost like maybe like the naked um, oh what's the one that just came out really pretty rich browns all of these would be really good to build up kind of like that dark kind of smoky eye and then you've got these really pretty colors I love this lit color it looks really, really, really pretty. So I'm literally obsessed with all of these. I will show like full swatches, but just so you can kind of see like that color is really, really pretty. So i um, absolutely like in love with this palette. This is definitely something I would wear a lot. Um, it's a little bit dark, so I would use this for like a lot of my transitional shades and then maybe use like this kind of color on my base. But really, really pretty. I think this would definitely be a really good palette to have. I can't believe it's only $12. Like super crazy nice. So next up is this one and this one's called Aura. Aurora? Aura. Um, this one's really pretty as well. I like this one because it's very different and this is also something good to have in your collection. So this one is just really, really cool. You've got this really iridescent color. That one looks almost exactly like Jack Frost from the um, Kylie Nice palette. I have it on my inner corner and my brow bone. Um, it's almost the exact same. Like it's white with those like kind of like gold undertones. And then you've got this really bright color. It kind of reminds me of the subculture and then that really vibrant Urban Decay palette that came out a few years ago, but kind of different. Um, really pretty, like I said, really nice, shimmery, kind of bright colors, really fun. This would be great for like kind of like a festival look just because you've got such like kind of fun colors. I love this soul color. And I remember when I swatched it, it was really, really, really good. So I'll show all the swatches for this one as well. It's really pretty. Like this radiate color is stunning. Like it looks so, so pretty. And that energy color, the bright neon, like yellowish green color is really cool. So I really like all of these. Like I can't wait to try this one out. Next up is um, Retro Love. And this one's really cool. I guess I forgot to say how many eyeshadows are in each one. The first one I showed you has 12 eyeshadows and the second one I showed you has 14. And this one has 14 as well. So it looks like this and this one is the subculture dupe like it's so cool so this one is really cool it's literally like exactly like the subculture palette from Anastasia and I really you know I thought that palette was really cool and very unique so I really like this a lot their psychedelic psychedelic color is really insane I absolutely love this palette I just think it is so cool I also love that all of their palettes have mirrors in them because I don't know I just really like having mirrors in the palette and it's also really like just really sturdy kind of packaging like that's what I really like about it like they're just really nice but um, going back to the palette the colors are so unique like this flower power color is really pretty it's like this kind of like blush kind of shade and then I love all the like you know the browns and then like the cool like kind of teal colors it's just a very different kind of palette and I have seen I don't own the subculture palette but I have seen it before and like honestly like these seem like very comparable as far as like the quality whenever I like swatched all of this so Definitely really like this one, Retro Love Subculture Dupe. Next up is a bundle. So these two were a bundle. I think it was like $25 for both of them or $24. So it's the Sahara palette and then this Amazonia palette. So the Sahara one, this one is really cool. Actually, you know what? 
I think I know which one this is, but pretty similar to the Kylie Nice palette actually. So this is the white one right here is the Kylie Nice palette. So I was like, wow, this looks really similar. It almost looks like the palette I used today. Definitely a dupe for the Kylie Nice palette without a doubt. Like, I'm like so cool. That's so cool. Um, the Jack Frost color right here, this one seems really similar. It's the Kylie Nice palette dupe. So it's literally like the same. Like, literally the same. Um, but yeah, I love this palette. I use it all the time. Um, I love this color right here. It's really different. Like, it's really cool. So yeah, I really, really love this palette. I think it's super cool. I wonder if the next one is going to be, if it's like the Naughty palette, because I never noticed this the first time. Yep, I'm pretty sure this one's like the Naughty palette. This one is almost exactly like the Naughty palette from Kylie Jenner. It's definitely a dupe of that. So when you get this bundle, you're getting the nice and naughty palette from Kylie Jenner, basically. I really like it. It's super cool. This toucan color up here is, like, super cool. Like, really, really cool, that bright red color. This starbeam color is really, really pretty. Like, I, I love that color. And same with the sunbeam color. Um, I really like this palette. It's very different, even, like, when Kylie came out with it. I was like, it's a very kind of um, different kind of mix of colors because you've got... You know what I'm saying? Like, but you've got like dark greens and bright reds and golds and burgundies and then like pale colors. But it's like a very different kind of like mix of colors. But I really like it and I love that you can get um, both the nice and the naughty palette like basically together. So really, really like these two a lot. I think they're really cool. Next up is this palette. This is the Athena palette and this one is a bigger palette. It's got 18 colors and it is most definitely a dupe of the... Um, Huda Beauty Desert um, Dusk. I know there's two of them. There's like Desert Dusk and then there I can't remember what the second one's called. So yeah, this one is a dupe for the original. I think it's the original Desert Dusk, but it's really pretty. Um, this color on the original palette by Huda is very, 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 very glittery. I don't think it's, again, one of those colors that's just kind of glitter and not like a ton of pigment. So I think this one was kind of the same when I swatched it. Um, but the rest of them seemed pretty, like, pigmented. This is a really cool palette. Like, I've actually wanted the Huda one for a long time, but I didn't know if I'd, like, wear it enough. So I'm really glad that I have this one. It's just really cool, like, the purples and the reds and... Yeah, it's just really unique. Um, this color at the bottom, Cunning, is really cool. It's like brown, but it's got like kind of like these pink shimmer kind of undertones with it. It's just really, really cool and like seems like super good quality, so I can't wait to try this out as well. Got a nice big mirror in it, so really cool. I also like how the layouts kind of match like the, the original palettes as well, like how the subculture kind of matches like that and then how this like kind of like the packaging and everything kind of also looks like the Huda palette. Next one is this Aphrodite one, which is also similar to the other Huda palette, which I think is also desert something. I can't remember. Um, but it looks like this, and this one's really pretty. I think this one might be my favorite, but the other one's really cool too. Um, I love the other one because you've got all the warm and cool tones just kind of mixed, and it's really cool. But this one's really awesome. Um, I love how you've got all the shimmery colors and like all the mattes. And I feel like this one would actually be really wearable because you've got like really like wearable kind of mattes there. And then these colors would be really pretty on like the lid. So I really, really like them. I really like this palette. I think it's just super, super cool. Next up, I just have a couple highlight palettes. And these um, came as a bundle, I think also for $24. And obviously these are the Anastasia Glow Kit um, dupes. So the first one is this one. It's called um, Mermaid Glow. And it's the same as the... Moonbeam one, I think is what it's called. Um, so yeah, this one's really cool. That one's really cool. So they're very like light and pastel, but also like they're all really, really iridescent. So I feel like these would also be cool if you're going to like a concert or a festival and you wanted like a highlight that's just like super kind of crazy and out there. Um, so yeah, they're really pretty. I love, I love these. I love all the cool tones for highlights. I think it's really cool and unique. So that one's really cool. Um, you also get six of them, which I think is how many you also get in the Anastasia one. And then the next one is Unicorn Glow. This one's really pretty. I'm not exactly sure which Anastasia palette this is most similar to because you've got kind of like the cool colors, but you've also got kind of the warm colors. And I know a lot of the Anastasia ones have like lots of gold, so I'm not exactly sure which one this is similar to. But it's really pretty. I love this dream color. And yeah, they're all really cool. I have some highlight on, but I'll just go ahead and apply it. So I'm going to test out this dream color and we'll see how that looks. It's hard to tell because I do have quite a bit of highlight on already. Ooh, ooh! I can definitely see like the pink where I applied that. I don't know if you can tell, but wow, wow, 
Wow! So there's my regular, that's what I had before. And then here is this. I don't know if it's really showing up, but I can definitely see in person. This one's got like a pastel pink, almost like kind of highlight. So let's... Wow, this one is so cool. These are really good quality, actually. They're so nice. Look how pink it is. Do you guys see that? Wow, that was that's a really good quality. I really really like this a lot. I didn't think it would help like make a big difference, but I can definitely see like with the light hitting it, it's like really pink. I'll try and take a picture of it and like insert it because I don't know if it's showing up on camera. Do you see it? Do you see like the pinkness? Oh my gosh, my face is so broken out. Just ignore it, but but it is so insane. Like I literally can't wait to try all of these. I really like this orange one. I wish I would have tried that on the other cheek. This is really cool. I love these highlight palettes. They're insane. I think that is everything. So I really, really love these palettes. I highly recommend them, especially the highlight palettes are insane. Um, I actually, this is kind of like an unboxing video, so I haven't actually really tried out all of the products yet, except for the highlight that I just tried, but I will show you guys all the swatches so you can see what they all look like. But just as far as like looking at these, like my first impression of like swatching them and looking at them, I am very, very, very pleasantly surprised and impressed with the quality. Like especially with the highlight, like honestly, like it looks so good. And I feel like with the palettes, like all the like, I always swatch shimmery colors for some reason, not the mattes, but like all the shimmery colors that I swatched were really pigmented and really pretty. Like when I first got these in the mail, I opened up a couple of them and my sister and I were swatching them. And they are actually like really, really good. So that's like my first impression of it. Like I said, I haven't really gotten a chance to try because it's a lot of palettes. I haven't really gotten a chance to kind of really play with them and try each one and really wear them and see how long they last throughout the day. So this was kind of like an unboxing first impression. But they do seem like really good quality as far as like what I have swatched and everything. So it is Shop Hush. I will link their website below and I will also link all of the um, palettes I have and then like the dupes that I figured out. So there might be a couple that I'm like... I'm sure there's a palette out there that's like a dupe for these, but those were just kind of the ones that I noticed like right off the bat. The packaging and just everything about them is really nice. Like it's a lot nicer than what I expected, honestly. I love how like they're all really trendy and they're all like, you know, like the subculture palette is like a huge thing right now and like the desert desk palettes, you know, so I really like that they are so, um, like trendy. I really wish I would have known about these whenever I was like in middle school and high school and like didn't have a job and just had like a little bit of Christmas and birthday money. I wish I would have known about these palettes because I wanted all those nice palettes and I had to like save up forever to buy like one really nice one. If you guys would like to see a like get ready with me or some kind of like makeup tutorial featuring these, let me know what palette you guys would like to do it on because honestly there's so many I don't even know which one to pick from. But um, yeah, leave a comment below letting me know which palette you guys would like to see in the video. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give the video a big thumbs up, especially if you'd like to see more affordable makeup hauls. I know I typically use a lot of high-end makeup, so I don't really... I don't really use a lot of like affordable makeup in my videos, but if you guys do like this and you'd like to see more of that, definitely give this a big thumbs up and I will do more affordable makeup hauls and tutorials and all that kind of stuff. Don't forget to follow me on social media. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!